The Slap Battles tier list is finally upon us again. Here is what I'm writing the gloves on. Slap Battles is a free-for-all game. I will be judging gloves based on how well they perform in this situation. If a glove is very good at 1v1s but sucks with multiple people, then it won't be rated high. Offensive capabilities are valued higher than defense. This is because the goal of the game is to gain slaps by attacking other players. Obviously, offensive gloves are much better at doing so. This does not mean defensive gloves won't be placed high. A really strong defense can make a glove annoying to kill and hence good at killing players with. For an example, example, a glove like Slapple won't be S tier in my eyes since I value offensive gloves, but the ability to push players back with a tree and make it much harder to be slapped is really good, so I of course won't be throwing it in C tier and calling a day either. That's pretty much it. I will be explaining why I think a glove belongs in a tier as I go. Let's begin. Spin is a really good glove. That's the joke. Spin has really low power, and the spin makes it annoying to hit people with. You can control the speed of the spin, but being a Beyblade does not make a glove good. If I had enough tier, spin would be the only glove there. Okay, so the reworked default since the last tier list. Instead of being a disgusting creature who farts while comboing people to oblivion, you now accelerate towards your opponents with your farts like a disgusting creature, while slapping them to death. I have mixed feelings about default. They got rid of the beautiful combo potential it had and added a small speed boost instead. So, I don't think the change did too much to its ranking, in my opinion. It just requires you to combo in a different way, and the speed boost gets you out of some bad situations, which is nice. Diamond is okay. I've always loved the tiny power it has because it allows you to beat the life out of someone without room to breathe. The ability is meh at best, since it's just a desperate last resort that requires your opponent to no longer be interested in you, but if they step on your rock, you win. ZZZZ, Z, ZZ, is a pretty decent glove on paper, but this isn't paper. This glove isn't great for one reason. The sleep ability, which is supposed to put your character out of harm's way from normal slaps, doesn't. I mean, it does. If you don't know that re-equipping your glove while clicking allows you to hit people while they are laying down, that fatal flaw makes the sleep pretty useless if you work counter fast enough. In addition, abilities work. There are so many jokes you can make with this. Look at it. But despite appearances, this glove is godlike and you can tan it really early. If you practice using this glove, you have the potential to destroy pretty much anyone in a 1v1. However, it has two weaknesses, especially in a free-for-all setting. It has a long cooldown, and you are vulnerable when players get close to you. Counterpoint! You can walk backwards. It's hard to kill an extended without having several p players actually targeting you, otherwise it's not too hard to get distance. Obviously, there are some exceptions of gloves being able to counter extended, but for the most part extended is just really really good, and the combo potential it has makes it really hard to uh, get back up. Brick is one of the most powerful troll gloves, it basically keeps you on the ground. Forever. It's perfect when you want some annoying player to suffer for all of the sins they have caused in your server. You can't expect me not to punish you for all the things you did to me. You will suffer. Yes. Yes. Yeah, it's a good glove. Tripping them with a brick is basically a free hit, and you can even use your brick to get another jump if you want that. If you thought brick was only useful for defense, you're wrong. Snow is so strong, and so boring. It can only slap, but the slaps slow down players. They can't really do anything but watch you slowly approach them. It's a free hit. Those two hits are usually enough to, at the very least, put them right at the edge of the map if you were originally in the middle. Snow is really strong, and its only weakness are ranged gloves, with a few other exceptions. Pole is just playing slap battles with inverted controls. You hit people backwards instead of forward. Whoa. Pole can combo pretty decently, but camping at the edge with it is just weird to me because you're at the same amount of risk as the player that approaches you. It's an okay glove. It's just the lack of ability, proper ability, makes it very weak against gloves that do have an ability. Flash is easily one of my favorite gloves. The pressure you can put under players with this glove is insane, and using it properly in a server like this, for an example, will decimate it. You can easily teleport onto islands, teleport out of danger, use the teleport for combos, and the teleport even works if you're under the arena. It's very powerful and very hard to beat. The ability is perfect for offense and defense, and not many gloves can deal with it as a result. Talking about this glove immediately after Flash is kind of sad because this glove is good for stupid reasons. Players have a hard time hitting someone who is flying in the air. Just hold space and spam click and you'll probably kill someone eventually. At first glance, Swapper is a defensive glove, but its defensive ability is actually really good offensively, and I highly recommend using it that way. Sure, you can troll with it. Sure, you can camp at the edge and probably live, but Swapper's true potential shines when you are aggressive with it, as the ability can be used when you are pinned. This is much better in my eyes, as it will be less expected than, oh man, I wonder if they're going to use the ability when I approach them. 
Surely they wouldn't bamboozle me like the other toting players have to me. He must be a genius for thinking of this completely unique and flawless plan. Uh... Bowl is really bad if you play like an aggressive monkey, but good if you have some patience and bait people into your slaps. Bowl may be slow, but its hitbox starts during the windup and lasts for a second or two after it's done swinging. All gloves have that kind of hitbox as well, but since Bowl is so slow and swings wider, it makes use of this mechanic better. At least I hope it's a mechanic and not a bug that's lasted for the entire game's lifespan. You can slap them with the force of a toddler or throw them across the map. It's not bad, it's not amazing, but it is annoying. I think this glove can be very useful defensive and offensively. You can either wait for someone to stand at the ledge while being hidden yourself, or use it aggressively so your opponent does not know when you will strike. Either way, it's a good glove. Just don't speak. Thanos is really good at... not dying. Besides that, it doesn't have anything too interesting about it. You live for a very long time, but once people start targeting you, it's, it's over. Good crowd control glove that's useful for offense and defense, but it's very annoying and people are more likely to target you because of it. Regardless, it's a perfect early glove to use to get free hits off of players. Zahando is really, really bad if you use it incorrectly. However, this glove is very useful if you use it properly. Pulling people towards one of the small islands gets you free kills at the cost of an angry horde, or you could just use it at the edge of the main island, which does the same thing, just harder to pull off and more deadly in my opinion. If you ever wanted to target someone who is annoying you, this is the glove to use. Fort is, um, fort. It doesn't really have much of a use unless you have a team going. You can trick people with the walls, but most gloves are going to outperform the little use you have with it. Magnet is a very good glove to use if you are aggressive. The ability can be used to save you or get a free hit. It's incredibly useful in 1v1s, but the ability isn't too reliable in a free-for-all setting unless you only use the ability defensively. Even then, you might pull yourself towards another player who was falling with you. Pusher is essentially a free hit you can use on multiple people. You can use it to put pressure on someone or use it to knock off a group of players hanging out on the edge. Anchor is basically a better, more campy pull. High power with the ability to control where people get launched no matter what direction you are facing. Or, you can hold off on the ability and just slap like a normal glove. Unfortunately, I hate these gloves because they are so incredibly boring to use. Luckily for you, that won't affect the glove's rating. Space is great for getting away from dangerous situations, and it can be cancelled out to trick your opponents. You can easily make it to any island with this glove to give yourself room to breathe. If you practice with this glove, you can last a very long time in the arena while still being able to kill lots of players. Boomerang is also a better pull. It functions exactly like pole, except they fly in the air for a lot longer before landing. The time they spend in the air allows you to move back and set up for a combo, but the distance the player launches is inconsistent and probably based on their ping. Regardless, this glove can be used to infinitely combo a player and easily kill them. The basic speed boost this glove gives allows you to pick and choose your battles. It's difficult to kill a dream player and their speed makes them incredibly obnoxious. On top of that, the weak slap knocks players up in the sky, allowing you to potentially perform combo deadly enough to carry people across the map. Very cool to use, very annoying to deal with. Mail blinds everyone in a radius around you. It's kinda useful? The problem is... You can still somewhat see, and only lasts a couple seconds. If someone knows how to deal with this pop-up, then it isn't much of a threat. Thick builds up power very quickly and can easily dominate the map when fully grown. The hitbox becomes massive and the power is very good. It basically becomes a stronger extended glove. The ability to become invincible, have a speed boost, and gain more power sounds like it would make it top tier, but it can easily be outmatched by a good glove. The ability only lasts a few seconds, and it takes a long time to recharge. However, I wouldn't be upset if someone called this top tier, as I can see why they would think that. This glove actually blinds the player, and is very good for defense, but it's kind of lacking offensively when dealing with strong gloves. Maybe, if it completely blinded players with one hit, it would be top tier, but that wouldn't really be fun, now would it? Cheeky used to have an ability to easily transform mid-ragdoll, which made this glove very good. However, it can no longer do that and hence lost its main use. Outside of that, you are harder to kill when transformed, but you won't be able to reliably kill players without killing yourself, so it's honestly better to just use something like FaZe if you want this type of glove. Reaper has the potential to dominate a server, but what's more likely to happen is this. Replica is good for grinding slaps, but that doesn't make the glove amazing in this tier list. Your clone can easily be dealt with by either getting slapped once, or... Your clone is kinda dumb. 
This is a sad glove to use considering there are several gloves that protect you better. I mean, what's the point in hiding in a cube from everyone when you could just use a glove like, again, phase, where you become immune to all damage and can fly? You are vulnerable to any glove that has AoE or ranged, and the shield does not last forever. One cool little thing you can do with the fence is if you jump on someone, you can use the ability and trap them in the ground. That's pretty cool, but you're not likely to pull that off. Killstreak has the potential to dominate a server, but what's more likely to happen is this. The ability to redirect damage to your opponent. Do I even need to explain why this is top tier? Correctly timing this ability can do far more damage than golden and doesn't require aiming. Press E to win! Ranged gloves, top tier gloves, and high aggression can counter this glove's ability. Outside of that, very annoying glove to deal with. Duelist is a great glove to use when you want to pick your fights. The only problem with it is the lack of an ability once inside the arena. If you don't pick your fights carefully, you will easily die by other players. Your only advantage in your arena is higher slap power. On top of that, the ability has pretty long cooldown so you will have to stay in your arena for a while unless you want to risk dying in the main arena. Because of this, I wouldn't really say Duelist dominates a free-for-all setting, and it's not a top-tier glove. Press E to win. Pretty much shares the same weakness as Shikuchi. The only difference is this glove is easier to use offensively. Ice had to be nerfed several times in order for it to be a somewhat balanced glove. Even after the nerfs, it's incredibly strong and disgusting to deal with. Thankfully, they do actually have to slap you in order to freeze you, and they don't always one-shot anymore. You just have to be careful when dealing with them. Whoa, a garbage bootleg version of DICE! Anyway. Basically a randomized Thanos. It's nice because of the small cooldown, but you have to time your ability correctly. The only downside is you might not appear in the spot you want to be when you use the ability, which isn't always favorable. Blocked is great for dealing with the gloves you hate, as they can't hit you once you slap them. You win trades, even one-shot gloves will fear you. You will have a little trouble dealing with several players, but you can kind of juggle between them easily enough. As long as you are the one who slaps first, you won't really get hit unless they have range or AoE. Engineer in a nutshell. Rocky makes use of how bad Diamond is, funnily enough. It's very hard to not get hit when the giant boulder comes rolling your way, turns you into a rock, and then you have to deal with a player using you as a step stool and at least trade with them. It's a good glove. Conveyor is just annoying. It's good, but honestly, outside of the nice knockback it gives, it's pretty hard to hit them after that. They struggle to move around and have to jump in order to not die. You basically installed a dodge program into the player and now have to deal with that after you slap them once. They can't really hurt you, and you can't really hurt them. Now what? If you can get around that, then it's a pretty good glove, but certainly not top tier. Phantom is alright, but it's kind of a worse phase in my opinion. You are not invincible, but you are invisible. However, once your opponent knows the timing of phase, they can maneuver your sneak attack pretty easily if it's apparent that you are targeting them. They might even counter you, depending on the glove they have. Despite that, it's decent at getting out of tough situations, and it can do well in surprise attacks. Yet another obnoxious glove to kill! It can do some pretty cool combos, but you have to be so patient. Its biggest strength is not getting killed and having the ability to become the world's hardest human whack-a-mole. Stop is alright, but a lot of the gloves can do what it does, but better. Track is great for sitting at Slapple and spamming your ability like a baby, but it's not that great at close range as it gets rid of your glove when the ability is used. I want you to picture a one-shot, okay? Now picture that one-shot being forcefully inserted into a table. That's table flip. It's only downside is the long cooldown it has. Shield is extremely good at handling players, as only abilities can damage you with the shield up. Just be aggressive and you'll do really well. Fun to mess with, but unreliable with kills and has a chance to make your opponent stronger. Ping Pong is actually an incredibly good glove. The ability has a really long cooldown, but the ball knocks players very far away and stuns them for a long time too. Even just the normal slap ping pong has will stun players for a long time, allowing you to kill almost whoever you please. Baller is essentially a mobile turret. Mobile turrets are pretty good. Whirlwind is pretty bad. The ability is okay at getting away from people, but using it offensively is no better than rolling the dice and hoping your opponent flies off the edge, not you instead. Just use phase or charge at this point. They're both much better options. Special gloves! These gloves are obviously very good. They are one-shots. They counter most gloves because they are one-shots. They require zero skill and tend to be used by players with a god complex because they are one-shots. Because they are so overpowered and kill you and one-shot, they get their own tier. 
I'm not sure why you would care about my opinion for these gloves when you already know where they would belong in a normal tier list. Smile. Too strong. You're probably a hacker if you use this. The ability to turn into an impenetrable rock that kills players on contact along with whatever speed and power you want obviously makes this glove top tier. Having a 50% chance to dodge attacks makes this glove very, very strong. However, you are vulnerable to abilities, so unless your luck is godlike, you can still be easily killed. I think you could argue that this glove is S tier depending on the situation, but I'm not going to put it there because of how many gloves that can still counter it. This glove is just a weaker flash. The ability is slightly shorter at the cost of a shorter roll that you can get slapped out of. It's still very good, but I think it's a little worse than flash, as flash has a higher survivability. Same power and speed as diamond, but the ability is now godlike. You kill players on contact with the ability, which is useful if you jump on them, and you no longer have a speed penalty. If used properly, you will rarely die and will be able to take out anyone you wish. Pretty good glove to use if you want to be annoying, but it isn't great at killing since players can transfer the disease to other players after being hit by you. Hollowjack is great because of its ability. Being able to distort players' visions, get a free hit with the long ragdoll, and having increased damage to the player makes this glove tough to deal with. The marker is also extremely useful for knowing if they are still blinded along with some situational perks like being able to see ghosts. Great for trolling, but unreliable for actually getting players in the portal and killing them. Bus is good for baiting and taking out groups of players, but the long cooldown makes it pretty bad when being targeted. I'm sorry if you think that a glove that grants random buffs and debuffs is good purely because there is a chance you will become temporarily strong. It's not. It's not that good. I'm sorry. <laughs> Honestly, if you use phase properly, you won't die by much. Only top tier gloves will easily be able to kill you. Warp teleports behind the last person you slapped. It's pretty good when you're targeting someone and they don't expect you to appear behind them, but it honestly doesn't do too much when they know to turn around. It's only good if you use it when they least expect you to. So Bomb was buffed. I'm scared of it. Um, I'm gonna put it here for now because I don't use Bomb, but um, you know, with this buff, who knows? It, it could be higher. It honestly could be higher. It, it, it looks really strong now. <laughs> If you ever wanted to win by pressing E, this is your glove. All it takes is one bubble and they are easily transported very far away. Jet is extremely annoying, but not the best glove. You can't dodge unless you have a glove that can move fast or prevent damage, but it's also pretty easy to avoid dying if you know the missile is targeting you, so it's good, it's just not that good. Shard used to be really bad, then they turned it into a gun! Bigger hitbox, insanely fast, all it requires is good aim to snipe players and slow them down. Disgusting. Potato is just a bootleg reaper. It looks good until the person you slap transfer the potato bomb back onto you. Am I gonna rate a glove S tier because of its ability to become overpowered when other players join you? No, but I'll rate it C tier. Let's be real. You don't have friends. The only reason I'm not putting Bob in the special tier is because of its big weakness, being any form of rock. In addition, any glove with a speed or jump boost still has an advantage, and ranged gloves can snipe you and keep their distance, which prevents you from sicking your pet demon after them. Bob is extremely overpowered, but definitely beatable. Just know that you aren't much better than a one-shot just because you're using a ranged AI version of one. I hate buddies. The purpose of this glove is a lie. Tensile does not want you to become buddies with everyone, and there are deep, dark secrets hidden with this glove find them. Moon is just a better spring, but has a larger skill ceiling. Being able to control how fast you fall is pretty important when fighting players as it decreases the chance you trade. This glove is less annoying to deal with than spring if the player using it does not know what they are doing, but because of the skill ceiling, I think uh, Moon has more potential than spring, so it's just a little better. Jupiter is so good, any glove can combo you now. Equipping this glove is the same thing as adding mods to your favorite game in order to make it harder. You have to work around the high gravity this glove gives you because if you don't, you're just gonna die more often than you would with spin. Spy is really good because of ping. It's really hard to not get backstabbed when your opponent sees your character differently than you do. I can't really explain it too well without taking a lot of time, so just know that this glove is powerful and can backstab you without backstabbing you. Blame Roblox. If you main Detonator, then it's likely you use a lot of overpowered gloves. Using Detonator does not make you a better person than a one-shot. The only thing you do differently than a one-shot is press E after you hit someone. They're still dead. In fact, you can argue that this glove is better than a one-shot because of its ability to use corpses to blow other people up. It's ridiculous how powerful this glove is, and the only upside of to using this glove is you can at least say that you earned the glove, unlike Overkill. 
Honestly, this glove would be much more manageable if you didn't keep the effect on players even after you die. So unless they change that detail, I'm gonna put it down here in the little special tier because the only real way to continuously beat this glove is to not get hit by it, just like other one-shot gloves. Rage is kind of mid and requires too much effort to keep the power and speed boost you get. It's, uh, you know, decent, like with all gloves, but yeah. Look at what you can do with Trap! This guy stood no chance. Does that make it a good glove? No! It took me 20 tries! Orbit is pretty good for farming slaps as you turn into a human Beyblade, kind of like Spin, but better. But you are very likely to trade when you use it to kill people. And when you trade, you lose your advantage. Hybrid is a good glove, and uh, I would have to practice with this in order to properly assess it. I think it's a solid glove that may have the potential to do very good if you spend time with it, but for now I'd rate it, I don't know, a low A? I, I don't really know the potential of this glove yet. I need to like practice it, and that takes time, and uh, yeah. Okay, <laughs> cool. Slapple is nearly impossible to kill. The tree that can spawn knocks you back. You can parkour up the tree or use something like Spring or Moon, but even then, you will struggle to kill a Slapple user unless you are very aggressive. As with most gloves, a very strong defense does not mean you will dominate the arena. It just means you can live in it, basically. I do think its ability can kill most gloves as they don't have anything to properly attack you with, though, so. Disarm is just a weird version of blocked. It gets rid of gloves, which is really nice for defense. Most players don't seem to use it offensively, but uh, it goes how you would expect it to. Dominance is kind of like an offensive version of the defense glove. It's really good and easy to change areas, but top tier gloves can still outmatch even its weird black circle thing. Link is what happens when you combine a one-shot glove with plague. You get an actual disease. It's gross. Goodbye. Chain is decent for groups. That's about it. Rattle Bones is super good because of its low cooldown. Simply stay in the middle and spam E, you win. Or you can just do what a lot of players seem to like to do with this glove for some reason and wait until someone is about to hit you. Then you can use your ability and create an angered Larry. Either or top tier glove. Charge is really good. The ability is either a free hit to a player or it can be used to get away from tough spots. Obviously a glove that allows you to get free hits is a good glove. This glove is mid. It's fun, but it's, it's, it's mid. You become strong, but have a major weakness. All it takes is one troll to use something like Ghost, and you lose. Confusion is great until players learn how to play with inverted controls. It's only really useful in the beginning. Glitch is annoying and sadly useful for getting players off of you. The ability even leaves players immobile, so you can get free hits if you wish to. Snowball is a disappointment for a Christmas exclusive. I find it funny how all of the Halloween gloves are top tier gloves that can dominate a server, and all of the Christmas gloves are Eh. Anyway, having a turret that shoots snowballs and slows players down is a good concept, but it can easily be dodged and rendered useless when they jump on your turret. In addition, all they have to do is not go near you if they don't have a good glove. So it's kind of like Engineer. Elude is kind of weird to rate because of its ability. You're not likely to kill too many players unless they are already one hit away from death, but you also won't really die often unless you get teleported here. So, okay, I'm just gonna make it easy on myself and put it here. Cool. RNG is just bad. I'm not sure why you would want to have Bull's power, but not be able to control where the player flies. That just makes this glove really bad. However, since it does have high power and can knock people off the arena easily, I won't put it at the bottom, but you know, it's, it's not that good. I, it's really not that worth it, but luckily it's easy to get. Fish has essentially become what Cheeky was. The fish robbed Cheeky's main strength and kept it for itself. It's really sad to see, but it does make this glove top tier because of it. Nearly impossible to kill someone while using this glove and they don't lose too much offensive power by using the ability. The cooldown is super short and you can easily dominate the server by using this glove. Not even God's hand can kill you. Moai is mid, as with all defensive turret glove things like this. Pretty good for annoying players near you, but the range is pretty small and better suited for camping. You don't really expect this glove to do much, but surprisingly it's really good at killing players. All you have to do is set a kill brick under them and it will shred their health very easily. It can stump one shots and many more players who fail to jump over it. I'm sure with practice, you can do lots of crazy stuff with this glove not intended for its original purpose, but for now, I still think it goes here. Voodoo is pretty good if you have a friend, but outside of that, it's just a free second hit that you can use on someone with every ability use. Even then, things can go wrong for you. 
Goofy can easily be used to perform an infinite combo without having to try too much. Because of this, it's going to be placed very high. Sometimes it won't stun players and sometimes they'll get out of it way more quickly, but it's still a very good glove. Kind of similar reasons to Snow, except uh, you're having a seizure instead of moving slow. It's not exactly easy to rate this glove because it's so close to just being a glorified one-shot glove. There are ways to gain control once hit depending on the glove you use and other players can free you from the leash, but in return, they can just leash an infinite amount of players. It's a pretty weird glove to rate in this tier list, so it's just gonna go here. Flamerang is a bootleg detonator. It has less power, and you have a time limit before your flamerang no longer targets your opponent. The only thing unique about it is the ability to let your flame circle around you if you do not hit anybody. This is pretty good for combos. Kinetic has the potential to create an explosion that nearly covers the entire main arena and sends players very far away. The chance you will actually reach that potential is very, very low, and requires a lot of time or a friend to set it up only for you to use the ability once and have to start over. It's not really a good glove. Berserk is what happens when you take a shake light and insert it into a god's hand. You have to charge up your power in order to one-shot players. However, even that power you can achieve is flawed as your health will drain faster as you increase power. The benefit of a fully charged Berserk is you will gain AoE, meaning you can hit more than one player at once. You need to charge it up at least four times for the slap to be worth it, and that leaves you vulnerable for too long. Regardless, you are not allowed to trash talk one-shot gloves if you use this glove since it's just a glorified one-shot glove. I'm gonna put it here at the end. Sparky is actually really good. You can easily outmaneuver players with this ability and be able to launch them off the arena. The cooldown isn't even too bad. However, when I did get hit during the ability, it broke my character pretty often and resulted in my death. It's still a pretty good glove and it's fun to use when you want to annoy someone. Boogie is really good in short range as it disarms everyone around the ability and makes them move very slowly. It's a great glove to use when you are being pressured on the edge. And that's all of the gloves. Please take into consideration that I just rated over 100 gloves and I obviously don't main every glove in the game. That being said, some gloves could be rated higher. Also keep in mind that you can absolutely use a glove in the C tier and be able to kill a one shot. The strength of the glove is determined by the wielder. Don't be afraid to use a glove that is considered Considered bad. Just use whatever glove you have the most fun with, even if that glove happens to be hated by most players. It's in the game, so why not use it? I want to give a huge thanks to CV, False, Dito, Some Random Idiot, and so many more people for helping me with obtaining the annoying to get gloves, as I don't think I would have the motivation to make this video if it weren't for them. You know who you are. I just want people who helped me to know that you make my experience so much better with this game. I also want to thank CV, Wesley the Talkie, Delta14, Nate the Nat, Some Random Idiot, The Carl, Taiko, and Cone But Gaming for supporting this channel by being a member. Thanks for watching.